what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back it's your boy terabyte reacts here with some more westworld for that ass season two episode five yes sir all right so last episode really brought back my interest my peak interest i should say because i never lost interest in the series it was more of like come on get on with it <laughs> you know um but episode four man episode four they did it man they did it they brought me back man they they brought me back to the west world i knew from season one it's just great storyline um tying up loose ends you know what i'm saying don't take forever to do stuff it's like they're trying to get away from stuff because you can even talk about the character development for William himself, which is like, to me, in my opinion, is the main character in this in this series. Like he is that guy. You know what I'm saying? Even though sometimes we don't see much of him, you know what I'm saying? To me, he's the main character. I'm more interested in his story than actually Dolores' story. You know what I'm saying? The two of them, I think, is very important to the series, but at the same time. I feel like I'm more interested in William's story more than anything else. He's so connected to everything, like from a business perspective, from just a a, 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 a guess perspective. So there's so much more intrigue to him than actually Dolores. Dolores is trying to get out. We get it. I don't know. This place they keep calling Glory, who the hell knows where that is? You know what I'm saying? But William, you know... He basically um, financed a, a monster. That's <laughs> pretty much what he did. He financed Ford to get all this stuff going. And now they've completely lost control. Now the thing you created is trying to kill you. That's, <laughs> you know, but certain reveals that happened, man, was just really good. They were done very timely. And I think in this next episode, we're going to get back, you know, Dolores, Hale, um maybe some of Maeve because we need to know what the hell happened because they came up on some samurais with swords you know what I'm saying like we need to know what happened there and I don't know if they're gonna show anything with Bernard and Elsie I don't I don't think so um but this next episode they're definitely gonna go back to what they were doing so hopefully you know some things that are making sense are gonna still be established into the storyline because I'll I'll would love if they do that and not just leave us back out into the wind again for us to wait another four episodes for for greatness you know what i'm saying so let's jump into it man and i will see you guys for the review yeah I kind of knew she was going to kill. Uh, well, it doesn't seem like she's going to kill Teddy. I think reprogram him or, or something. Um, as I said, man, that part of the story is not that interesting to me. Um, even Maeve's storyline right now, like knocking it out of the part, introducing the Japanese opposites of their storyline or their backstory or their cornerstone, if you want to call it that. Um... This episode was good. Um, still have no idea what Dolores wants. I'm just, <laughs> just saying. It's like, remember guys, I haven't watched the show. So I don't know what's going to happen in the future. Maybe a lot of this stuff is on her part is going to make sense by the end of the season. Um, so yeah, man. Um, this whole Jap Japanese storyline was well done, in my opinion was well done now let's talk about Maeve's new voice um this this is what you call a um what do you call it uh, there's no explanation for this power i could understand when she could give voice commands but the sixth sense and what is would she have an antenna what what, what is going on this wi-fi power <laughs> this wi-fi power that she got a, um, I don't know what that's all about. I was happy to see ninjas, samurais. The whole Japanese theme was dope. I liked it. We didn't see anything else much. 
about anything else they were just concentrating on Dolores and Maeve and what they're going through so I'm looking forward to see more I'm not gonna do a long review here because it doesn't necessarily need a long review because they went into two storylines that are kind of like heading in kind of like the same direction with no exposition to it so it's like okay we know Dolores is going somewhere we know that Dolores was not going to trust Teddy anymore so all this time you got to see all the little riddles she was talking in you know to Teddy and stuff like that I knew she was planning to do something to Teddy but then when they slept together I was like okay I guess she's not gonna do anything but then she let him into the barn and then I was like you know when she started to say oh you know for these past couple of days I've been trying to confirm my feelings for you and stuff like that I was like oh shit she's gonna do something to Teddy you know so we're right back where I thought it was gonna go in the first place and you know, so that was it. I knew that that was going to happen. As I said, narrative why if it doesn't push the story forward or add anything to it, I think Maeve's storyline kind of um, showed us a little more in depth about what the park was doing. You know what I'm saying? For all we know, you know what I'm saying? For all we know, there's other kinds of, you know, narratives out there with the same characters again because this dude was lazy. You know what I'm saying? You get paid millions of dollars, no doubt about it, that he gets paid millions of dollars to come up with these narratives. And he's repeating stuff. What a lazy dude. You know what I'm saying? If it's even to hire a team to come up with different storylines, if you're in charge of narrative, why are you doing all this on your own? Why are you creating 200 stories on your own? <sighs> come on, man. Get a writing team, my guy. Anyways. Yeah, so as I said, I'm not going to harp too much on this. Um, as I said, man, it, as I said, this, there's nothing here that really pushed the, the story forward or hold it back. I just felt like this was just a, another episode, you know. Um, and to kind of understand certain things, as I said, with Maeve, um, with her new powers, like what are the lens of this? Can she, you know, is this something that could work on humans? I, I don't know. You never know you know what i'm saying she's on a different wavelength than everybody else i don't know why they chose to give her this power um but i guess we'll see what's the i mean it helped them to get out of a uh, um a situation right now um so we'll see what she's going how she's going to use it what she's going to use it for dude has also picked up a walkie talkie off one of the dead guys that came to rescue one of the delos guys he picked up a I want to say it's a walkie-talkie, but it's basically a way to communicate with him because it's, it's like a radio, right? So, he picked up one of those. I don't know if he's used it already. They didn't show if he used it already. I guess he's waiting on a chance where he can actually use it or even send out a distress signal or something of the sort. I guess we'll see how that goes down. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> anyways guys thank you so much for tuning in as always it's your boy terabyte reacts man like comment i know not a lot of people watching the second season as much as the first season the first season i was doing i think it's like 150 to 200 views on my westworld videos now it's down to like 60 per video so people really do don't really like season two i guess like those people are gone <laughs> so some of those people are definitely gone or maybe they just don't know that i'm still doing westworld i don't know maybe they're just not getting the notifications anyways thank you guys so much appreciate y'all i'll see you guys next time peace